Hi, welcome to video five, lesson A or lesson one. We're going to go over real world trade questions. So, John wants to measure the height of a tree. He walks exactly 100 feet from the base of the tree and he looks up. The angle from the ground to the top of the tree is 33 degrees. How tall is that tree? So the first thing I do is I draw it out. There's John standing out here somewhere. There was my pen. There's Mr. John standing over here. There's that 33 degree angle. Here's my tree. And here is that distance, 100 feet that he just walked. So the first thing I do is I realize, okay, here's a right triangle from this angle. That's my, uh, we've labeled it H for height, but really this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse. So using my Sokotoa, I can go ahead and set up that tangent of theta is equal to the hypotenuse over 100. And why would I, or sorry, not the hypotenuse, the H value, the height the opposite side over 100. Why would I choose that? Well, I would obviously choose the adjacent no matter what because it's one of the given uh, values. But the only other person that uses that is cosine and he needs adjacent and hypotenuse and so that doesn't really help us. So that's why I chose tan. If I multiply by 100, I end up with 100 tan of 33 degrees equals H. Throw that into a calculator and you end up with the value of 64.941 feet. Make sure that your calculator is functioning in degrees. If it's functioning in radians, you have to do some conversions or you got to figure it out. All right. Next question. On the top of Sears building in Chicago is a TV tower from 300 feet away. The bottom of the tower is at an angle of elevation equal to 42.14 degrees. And the top of the tower is at an angle of elevation equal to 45.81. How tall is the tower? Now, this was kind of a confusing statement. I do have another drawing, but I'm just going to show. So here's my Sears building. On top of it, there's some sort of TV tower. If I am 300 feet away... There are two angles of elevation. The first one is from the bottom of the tower, and the second one is from the top of the tower. And let's pretend we all connected at the same point. So that's the two, that's kind of how that setup looks. So here's just the triangle to help me out. H is going to be a representative of the distance from um, here to here, and X is this distance right here. And so again, this is the happening here with my my lines right here 45.81 sorry so this is the bottom of the tower bottom and this is the top of the tower and of course uh this is the building itself probably um and this is what we're looking for is just how tall that tower is so the first thing I can do is set up my information. We know that this little uh, this little angle right here is 42.14. So I can go ahead and set up that triangle right here as the tangent of 42.14 is equal to that x value over 300. Now I know that that entire angle, right, the tower, uh, the top of the tower's angle elevation, 45.81, it's not just going to be this little bitty angle, it's still from that 300 foot point away. So it's the entire distance is 45, and so that has a triangle of this tan value. And it's not just H because it's the big triangle we're dealing with. So I end up with X plus H. Coolio. So if I solve both of these for those variables, so I basically multiply by 300 each time, I end up with these two formulas where I have a replacement value. So if I know that X is equal to this statement, can't I just take this whole thing and plug it in right here for this X? In fact, I can. So if I go ahead and do that, if I said that this, um, if all of this is equal to something and I get my H value by itself, which is what we want, right? We just want the height of that tower. If I subtract by H, then really I'm subtracting by that entire bit of information, right? So that's just replacement. And now I'm ready to plug this into my calculator, remembering again that we're in degrees. So I plug it in and we end up with 37.15 feet. Ta-da! Last question. An airplane is flying at a height of two miles above the ground. The distance along the ground from the airplane to the airport is five miles. So you've got a little airplane flying along. He's two miles above the ground. 
the distance along the ground from the airplane to the airport. So this distance right here is five miles. What is the angle of depression from the airplane to the airport? So here's that triangle drawn a lot better. I'm two miles up and five miles over. What is the angle of depression from the airplane to the airport? So I know that I'm dealing with tangent because we're dealing with that opposite and adjacent side, right? Because this is always my hypotenuse. We'll cross from that 90 degree angle. And so we end up solving for the angle. And since we're solving for the angle, we use inverse tan, uh, which will uh, focus on a little bit further in a different video this week, but I just plug literally that into a calculator and I end up with 21.801 degrees, always making sure that I'm checking that my calculator is in degrees versus radians for these questions. But that's all we've got this week. Good luck on your questions.